So guys, today I'm sharing with you my healthy winter morning routine. I love these videos, so I hope you enjoy. First things first, I am really not a morning person, as you can see, look at my face, but it's always about the headscarf, obviously. I turn off my alarm clock and I always reach for my dressing gown because it is ice cold and I hate being cold in the morning. And one of the things that I've started to do is actually have a big glass of water and a multivitamin on an empty stomach. And that's a big change for me because I'm not a big water person or a vitamin person, but it is great for like energizing and making your metabolism work really well. Now, you guys know I'm a tea queen and um, this is a spiced winter tea from Tea Pig, which I got over the Christmas period. I'm trying to not have as much English breakfast tea as I used to. It's my absolutely favorite, but I'm trying to decrease my caffeine. Next up, I go ahead and I make my breakfast. I basically have the same breakfast every day, as well as preparing my smoothie for lunch. My breakfast is basically boiled eggs, high protein, really filling, really good for you, along with tomatoes and rye bread. Like rye bread is my new thing. I'm not having brown bread anymore and I'm sticking with the rye bread and avocado. Again, it's slow burn, so it keeps you full for longer. Next, this is my smoothie that I have for the entire day. It's vegetables and fruit and protein. Um, this is kind of my lunch and snacks and then I have dinner. As you can see, this is my protein wheel, the Blender Blend. I've had this for about four months. It's kind of empty now, but vanilla is my favorite, which is why I'm gonna use whatever I've got left in this blend. But there's also the chocolate as well that I can add with just water. But for now, I'm just gonna chop up my veggies and um, get them all together. It Michael doesn't really like this mix, but I've got really used to the taste of it. It's um, a little bit more veggie-ish, but that's why I really like adding about three scoops of my um, protein powder here. And it's a vanilla as well, which makes it a little bit sweeter. And I find that it makes it a little bit more filling for longer. And my trusty Nutribullet is the way I just blend it in about five seconds flat. I absolutely love this thing, you guys clearly know that. And what I do is that I basically separate this out and put it in the jar that I'm going to use for the rest of the day. I can refrigerate this and just carry it around with me. And then the rest I have for my breakfast. My breakfast consists of this, it's eggs, and I'm using pink salt, which is a little bit better for you, and that is me ready. Next, it's all about my working out. I try to do high intensity workouts in about 20 to 30 minutes a day. These are from the Skinny Bitch Workout and you can see I'm wearing the new misguided active range. And why I like exercises like this, they genuinely really do cause the burn and it is just really making a difference in my body. And they may look easy, but honestly, do this for 30 minutes. By the time you've done like 20 reps of this, your knees will be shaking. And I know my form is not perfect. I am not an expert, so please use caution. And I'm just, you know, I'm working on it. I will get there. I also do add weight. Um, it makes so much difference. You can even see I'm kind of shaking with it, but I like the way it makes me feel and I feel a lot more energized in the morning when I work out. So then I go ahead and have a shower. I'm using my Dr. Lancer cleanser. It's a really gentle cleanser, which I'm loving a lot more for January, although this has been my favorite for a while. <laughs> and just scrubbing off my body. Moving on to my makeup, I am using a thermal water spray because again, in the winter, my skin's a lot drier. And I'm using the Million Dollar Moisturizer from Lush to moisturize, as well as the Insta Blur from The Body Shop, which I put underneath my makeup. I'm going ahead and using my everyday foundation which is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and my concealer. Moving on to my brows, um, I have this booty that I basically stole from MAC and I use a gel and a really thin brush to just neaten it out and conceal around the rest. 
I'm adding a bit of powder as well to mattify everything and now I'm using the new Tarte Lip Palette. It is gorgeous, it's in my favourites for sure. It's a beautiful nude palette that just is gorgeous on all skin tones and blends gorgeously. And then I go ahead and do a winged liner. I'm just doing a liner on the top and I'm not really wearing mascara but I am wearing falsies. I then go in and line my lips with this liner from Kiko and this Zoeva lipstick which I thought smelled a little bit funny and um, I have this little bit of blush here which is from Bobbi Brown and finally my lashes. Moving on to my hair, I have changed my hairstyle, I'm loving the middle part. I tried to dye my hair purple and I failed, I ended up with this so I am going to go to professional. In the meantime I'm just simply adding some serum and I love the whole hair behind the ear look as it's so 90s and I've gone back to an old classic which is dark and lovely I'm keeping it a lot more simple and I find that it's just a really moisturizing gel to use on my edges and it is alcohol free which is why I really like it and I just um, sleek that hair back with a slick brush and add a couple of baby hairs I should say quote unquote baby hairs they're not really my edges are relaxed and that is basically my finished look it was really easy to do my morning routine usually takes about an hour and this is my finished look this is all about me getting healthier and making a change in my bod so make sure you guys check out my blog where I've got a full um, strategy for like my health and fitness routine and you can take a peek at the new misguided active wear range which I will link in the description bar below so guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. bye